Six Flags, meanwhile, increasing security outside of its parks after a deadly shooting there on Wednesday. And that's according to Arlington police who say they're working with the company. Andrea Lucia also spoke to police earlier today following the arrest of a suspect in this case. Andrea. Yeah, 18 year old Cameron Stevens is charged with murder. Police still don't fully understand what led to the deadly fight in the parking lot back here on Wednesday and say it may have been a case of mistaken identity. They do know, though, it has left people feeling worried for their safety here. 16 year old Daytrell Teal was known to family and friends as Day Day. He was expecting to begin his junior year at Arlington's Morton High in fall. And on his Facebook page last year, he wrote, I just want to see myself succeed. My goal is to graduate. Wednesday, he visited Six Flags Hurricane Harbor Water Park with friends. As they were walking out and getting into a car picking them up, police believe 18-year-old Cameron Stevens pulled into a nearby spot. According to an affidavit, he yelled at the group, quote, something to the effect of, hey, y'all got a beef with 2100 or famous John? What police say could have been a possible gang reference. His friends later told police no one was aware of what he was talking about. So we do not think the victim knew the suspect at all. Neither did the friends. Deputy Chief Chris Cook says one of the teens approached to ask about what was said. And then the fist fight uh, starts to occur, so all the friends get out to kind of help, and then he runs to his car. Stevens, he says, grabbed a gun and started shooting, hitting Daytrell in the back as he ran. It's just not safe to engage in physical fights because sometimes they escalate. And once they escalate, somebody gets access to a firearm or a weapon, things can get out of control really quick. Cook says after a member of the community provided a tip Stevens might be the shooter, at least two witnesses were able to pick him out of a photo lineup. Police say they're meeting with Six Flags management to recommend additional security. They're adding Skywatch towers in the parking lot and uniformed officers at both Hurricane Harbor and Six Flags over Texas, particularly at closing time. Hopefully that will serve as kind of a deterrent and make people feel a little safer as well. Well, Deputy Chief Cook says Six Flags already has a robust security team, which includes the department's off-duty officers. He said they have an elaborate video system as well, although in this case, no camera caught the main action. And he said there are metal detectors when you enter the park, although, again, in this case, it seems that the suspect pulled the gun from a parked car. Reporting live in Arlington, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.